Before modern cartridges, when people went out hunting, they would often carry their black powder in flasks or horns. When the cows had been butchered, the horns were kept. Not all horns are created equal. They may have differing forms and colors, and some may have cracks and dents. Many horns are fairly plain, others can have elaborate decorations. I am making a horn for coarse black powder and a smaller one for priming powder. The main charge is poured down the barrel and the priming powder goes in the pan. When the cock strikes a flint against the frizzen, sparks ignite the powder. In Austagr in Norway, in the 17th and 18th centuries, there was a tradition for carving figures on the powder horns. The figures might come from songs and legends, and often from the Bible. My figures belong to literary cycles from various parts of Europe. Thus, the cultural references are both local and international. The man with the bag is Pfyll Penanvon. In Welsh tradition, he was king of Dyfed and ruled the other world Anwen for a year and a day. He also figures in Arthurian legend. Sigur from the Folksunga saga is best known for slaying the dragon Fovne at the suggestion of Regin Smith. In the Niblungen lead from Central Europe, Sigur is known as Siegfried. The names are written in textbands framing the figures. The bottom is made from birch. Water polishing gives a smooth finish when the wood is oiled. The bottom is fastened and linseed oil is applied. To lift out the figures, I paint the horn with oil paint. It is thinned to form an even layer. The old horns also have colored backgrounds, though we do not know which color agent was used. The small horns has figures from the Iliad and the Odyssey. This panel shows Achilles fighting against Hector outside the walls of Troy. The Iliad is also referenced on a few of the older horns. The spelling could vary a lot depending on space and the degree of literacy. This type of powder horn was closed with a plug. Black oil paint gives a good contrast. The witch Kirke is one of many people who deserves meat on his journey from Troy to Ithaca. Odysseus must sail through a narrow strait between the dreaded Charybdis and the many-headed beast Skylla. He must choose one of the perils, and Skylla devours six of his men. When hunting, the powder must be close at hand. I use a twine of hemp, and have spliced the ends to an eye. A splice is strong and elegant. Powder from the powder works in towns was sold in the countryside.
Modern black powder is stable, but should be treated with respect. The varied cast of the old powder horns shows that people in countryside Norway knew of culture and tales from distant times and places.